In this video, we are going to look at a cantilever beam with a point load applied onto it. We've already looked at this problem and in my previous video, I showed you how to calculate these support reactions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the bending moment diagram and the shear force diagram for this beam arrangement. If you want to know how to calculate the support reactions, you can go and check out my previous video where I explain how to calculate the support reactions. I will add a YouTube card here and a link in the description box below. First let's consider the beam section AB in other words from this support to the point where we have this externally applied force of 15 kilonewton. What I'm going to do is take an imaginary cut at point D and draw the free body diagram for the beam section AD. If you would like to know how to draw a free body diagram then you can check out my video where I have explained how to draw a free body diagram in detail. I will add a YouTube card here and a link in the description box below to that video. So we have a shear force at this cut. Typically the shear force is noted as V or F. In this case I'm going to note the shear force as V and then we have a bending moment and let's note that bending moment as M. There is no axial force at this imaginary cut because there are no external applied horizontal forces acting on this cantilever beam. Then we have these reaction forces acting on this beam section, vertical force of 15 kilonewton and a bending moment which is equal to 60 kilonewton meter. If we consider the vertical equilibrium, equilibrium in this direction, then we have two vertical forces. One is this reaction vertical force and then the other one is our shear force. Therefore, vertical equilibrium, we can write V is equal to 15 kilonewton. The shear force V is acting downwards and the vertical reaction force of 15 kilonewton is acting upwards. Therefore, V is equal to 15 kilonewton and this is valid for any given X value between A and B. In other words, any X value between 0 to 4 meters. Now I'm going to consider the moment equilibrium by taking moments at point D where we have taken this imaginary cut. So at this point we have moment M. Then we have this shear force V but the lever arm is zero when taking moments about this point and therefore V has zero moments about a point D. If we look at the remaining bending moments and forces, what we have is this anti-clockwise bending moment of a 60 kilonewton meter. M is an anti-clockwise moment as well so we can write M plus 60 is equal to M plus 60 is equal to the clockwise moment resulting from this 15 kilonewton about this point. So we can write this is equal to 15x because the lever arm is x. M and the support moment reaction are anti-clockwise moments and moment due to this vertical support reaction of 15 kilonewton at support A is a clockwise moment. Therefore we can write M is equal to 15x minus 60. This equation is valid for any x value between A and B. In other words, any X value between 0 and 4 meters. It is quite clear from this equation that the bending moment at this point B where we have this externally applied force of 15 kilonewton is going to be zero. So when X is equal to 4 meters, we can write M is equal to 15 times 4 minus 60. This is equal to 0 kilo newton meter. Also you can see that the bending moment M increases linearly in value as X decreases from 4 meters to 0. Therefore the highest bending moment occurs at the support A where X is equal to 0. We can write when
The bending moment is minus 60 kilonewton meter. It is minus because it is a Hogging bending moment and you can see the value of this Hogging bending moment which is equal to 60 is exactly the same in value when we look at this reaction bending moment which is equal to 60 as well. Now it is time to look at the rest of the beam. In other words, section B, C of this cantilever beam. Same as before, I'm going to take an imaginary cut at point D and draw a free body diagram here. We have a shear force V and a bending moment M. However, in this case, we have no other forces acting on this beam section. As you can see here from D to C, we have no other forces acting on that section. So what does that tell us? That tells us for vertical equilibrium we can see that V should be equal to zero. We can write V is equal to zero and for moment equilibrium we can take moments about any point on this section and we can see that M should be equal to zero as well. Therefore both the bending moment and shear force are equal to zero for any given point beyond this point B. Now that we have derived the equations to calculate bending moments and shear forces at any given point along this cantilever beam, we can draw bending moment diagram and shear force diagram for this cantilever beam arrangement. When you draw the bending moment diagram using what we have derived so far, it would look like this. You can see that we have the highest Hogging bending moment at this support A, which is equal to 60 kilonewton meter, and it linearly decreases towards this externally applied force where we have zero bending moment, and that carries on up until the end of this cantilever section. So we have highest bending moment at our fixed support, and we have the lowest bending moment at this point. The bending moment is equal to zero between point B and C. Moving on to the shear force diagram, it would look like this, where we have 15 kilonewton shear force between point A and B, and no shear force between point B and C. I hope you found this video useful, and now you are capable of drawing bending moment diagram and shear force diagram for this sort of cantilever beam arrangement. If you are not clear on anything, if you have any questions, please post your questions in the comment section, and I will see you all in my next video.